straight up. The elections are a fraud. They're, 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 they're so ridiculous. Anybody who looked at them, and I really wanted to talk to a class of students that would look at that, this electoral process that we have, they would see how ridiculous it is. And you could take any one of their uh, publicized all candidates debates, which are only a some candidates debate, a as an example, and each one of them uh, will give a, a little speech about all their their credentials. And by the time you hear the last person speak, you don't want to hear any more of this. It's just an incredibly boring process. Uh, it, it, we we got to think of some other way to do a, to do selection on who's going to be t given the right to tell us what to do and make laws that, t that tell us what to do. And, <clears throat> and when you speak, they, they get up there and they get this audience. A progr the programmed electorate is the only one that, that go to these meetings. Uh, when, when I talk to the journalists, they, they all say they can do the most boring of, of events that they have to cover when, when these politicians just get up there. And, and, it's, and if you watch them after they get elected, and when, when they're making the decision in, in Parliament or in the, the council chambers here locally in Victoria, it's ludicrous. They're, they're, they are not making any sensible directives or giving sensible directives to the people. It's completely stupid. And, and so when I started this campaign, my first sign was death by politics. And then I wanted to do a sign that said 13 mayors, 71 councillors, 87 MLAs, uh, thousands and thousands of civil servants were serving these guys, then 338 MPs and 450,000 servants, uh, civil servants in their employ, and all this is caught. They're they're on a payroll, and they're, and they're getting huge salaries, and then you got all the other subsidiaries that that are branch off that all the little. Uh, insurance companies and all the construction companies and all of this is a conglomerate of energies which are mostly totally useless energies that nobody needs and, and would be better off without any of that and so I thought well okay I'll go into these elections and you go in and you say well this is a stupid process you're we're electing idiots to run us in government it's 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 and so I put up, at one point, I put up $1,000 to so, uh, go before a class and debate the legitimacy of these elections and, and even being able to decide anything that was valid. And, and not one politician or, or even a class that would take me up on it. But still, that's the same thing. Like, we're, we're not looking at what we're doing. Our process is completely ridiculous. It's 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 Lilliputin land. It's it's like they're they're they've got they've lost their marbles. They've lost their their reasoning processes, and we need to be able to adapt to a changing climate. At this point, we need to realize that the future is not the way it was in the past. Things are changing. We're having major climate upheavals, extreme weather patterns, ice caps are melting, and we got an overpopulation problem. We got and we're building all these sky rises putting pushing people up in the air where there's no life in those those towers it, it's just they're just blocking the sun and we're driving down these corridors we got nowhere to go and the streets are clogged with automobiles and we're, we're we're lost socially we don't know how to communicate anymore we don't know how to socialize we're in a terrible state so i entered in and what I found was not one all candidates meeting. Uh, the signs I put put up are taken down. Today I, t I put up signs. The media did a story, bastardized uh, this story that that I gave them on an all candidates meeting where Philip Ney was arrested. He was went to one of these meetings. He says, "I'm a candidate. I want to speak, and I'm not going along with your selective uh, choosing of just these few four major parties." given the voice five actually and so they called the police on him and had him arrested so it's <clears throat> just really really the the worst you can imagine uh so i put up my signs i put up my signs and i say election fraud and i thought i'll go down to where the check six took this footage that i gave them 
and they said that uh, independence crash meeting like made the independents look at like they were uninvited and they crashed what was advertised as an all candidates meeting like democracy is a sham it's a it's a complete flam flam operation flip flop flam flam mumble jumble uh, rip and tear politic and it's un, it's unreal and that's locally provincially and federally and internationally it's the same thing you can assume so we need to change we need to be able to get free of government and like today I'm putting up my signs and check six is there somebody in their offices is coming out and taking my legally erected signs and throwing them in their bin. So tomorrow I'm going to try and charge them with theft. But I'm not expecting... See, the police don't, don't work for the, for the people. They work for the establishment. And even though this is an election and you would think you would have some rights to, uh, to this, what they call democracy, you really don't. This doesn't, it doesn't work in practice. You're excluded and you're de de devalued and you're pushed down. In the Sandwich News, where they, they give a, a print-up on the candidates, the independents, all they get is their name mentioned. And there's three of them. And the parties get a write-up. So look, look at this thing. This whole thing is a fraud. So if you want to survive into the future, and, we, and we're thinking that maybe only a few people are going to survive, it's not going to be uh, the, the parade-goers or, or, or the people who just follow along with, with the, this puppetry government that we're establishing is going to be the people who know how to think and can learn to cooperate. So I'm here for right now. The election's over in a few days. I'm not expecting any changes because they've got it so controlled and the people are so dumbed down that nobody knows who to believe or, or what to trust and we're just all going along with this consumerism, capitalism, uh, materialistic, uh, misguided system. So if you want to get together, I'm here. Let's get together. Thank you.